Some former Never Trump voters now say they're backing GOP nominee after his conviction. A group of what's been described as Never Trump voters are suddenly backing the former president following last week's historic conviction. The Free Press spoke with several voters from across the country whose opinions were significantly impacted by the guilty verdict in the New York trial against former President Trump. Sean McGuire, a Los Angeles-based venture capitalist and a former Hillary Clinton campaign donor, declared on social media that he donated $300,000 to the Trump campaign within an hour of the verdict, and wrote in an essay that the double standards and lawfare that Trump has faced boiled my blood. He told the Free Press, we were told that Donald Trump would be the end of democracy. But it turns out that lawfare tactics have been escalated by the Democrats and not by the Republicans. And so it's from that backdrop that I believe the Republican Party is less of a danger to democracy than the Democratic Party right now. Bill Maher struggles whether Trump should go to jail following guilty verdict. MAGA Nation will go nuts. University of Chicago Law School lecturer Adam Mortara similarly donated $3,300 to the Trump campaign after not voting in 2020 and opposing him during the 2016 GOP primary. Hoping a Trump victory would have a deterrent effect on weaponizing the legal system against political foes. What's gotten me off the sidelines is that if he does not win, and by a rather sizable margin, that will validate this type of weaponization of the judicial system in the future, Mortara told the Free Press. Before, I would have said it's not a danger to America if Joe Biden wins the election. Now, I kind of think it is. Biden mocks idea he's pulling the strings in Trump prosecution. I didn't know I was that powerful. New Jersey marketing consultant Kate Nitty was described as a lifelong Democrat who began turning against her party when living in New York City following the COVID lockdowns, voting Republican for the first time in the 2021 mayoral race, followed by support for GOP hopefully Zeldin in the 2022 gubernatorial race. While previously supporting Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as candidacy, the recent conviction may lead to her pulling the lever for Trump. I'm no fan of Trump. That said, I have a huge problem with contorting the law or using prosecutorial authority in the name of saving democracy, which has been the Democrats' message for the past four years, Nitty said. I still consider myself a liberal. I just don't think Biden Democrats reflect what that used to mean. Jack McGuire, a Texas-based travel consultant who voted for Clinton in the 2016 election and supported neither Trump nor Biden in 2020, says the trial galvanized him. What happened has every level of corruption and deceit and a willingness to use whatever means necessary to stay in power. It just absolutely galvanized me to say enough is enough. I'm all in with the MAGA people, because this has to end," McGuire told the Free Press. California-based guitar instructor and recording engineer Emery Barter was another lifelong Democrat who canvassed for Clinton in 2016 and voted for Biden in 2020. But hyper-progressive policies implemented in his hometown of Oakland has made him second-guess his support for Democrats and question the media's coverage of the political landscape. I used to trust the media, but now I feel the media has drifted away from reporting the truth. I just feel everything is completely made up, Barter said. Absolutely insane. Americans react to Trump's stunning conviction in New York trial. Barter went on to say that Trump doesn't scare him and